Psalm 105. Psalm 105, verses 1 to 6. Psalm 105, verses 1 to 6. Please, even at home, please open your Bible. Let's open our Bible. I will quickly read Psalm 105, verses 1 to 6. I'm sure we are all there now. David said, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him. Sing psalms unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength, seek his face evermore. Remember his marvelous works that he hath done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O ye seed of Abraham, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen. May the Lord bless the reading of his words. I'm sure if you follow that short six verses, have we done that this morning? I will say yes. And that's one thing that I always thank God for when things are happening in the church of God, especially here. Things that we do not discuss amongst brethren, but one person will do this, one person will do that. The, not, the next person will do this and everything will confirm the same thing. That was why I said the message is being preached. But let me start by giving this illustration. And I'm sure we all experience it. You know, when you give somebody something, we expect a response. For instance, if I give Kiki, maybe say chocolate, I expect she will respond. And most of the time, the response is, Thank you, Dad. And if it's something she doesn't like, mm. no, I don't want. So, in all circumstances, there's always a response, whether it is for good or for bad. But the Lord is telling us this morning. As is redeemed, those that he has purchased with his precious blood, I want a response from you. And the response I'm seeking for is your praise, is your thanks. And that was why David opened that psalm. He said, Oh, give thanks. For what? For all that he has done. He even went up for that to say, we must make it known among who is people. So, praise ye the Lord. We are children that obey their father. So we are putting obedience to practice. Even though he told us this month is our month of obedience. So I'm saying as children of the redeemed of the Lord, who has been saved, who has received mercy and grace of God, we should give thanks and praises unto him for all of the spiritual blessings, the physical blessings that we have received from him. Because we do not even deserve some of it. But because of his mercy, because of his grace, he has given them to us. And I bless him for his faithfulness. So today is a reminder unto us as the covenant children of God that has been bought with the blood of Jesus Christ that at all times, regardless of what we may be going through, we must learn to respond to God with thanks and praises. And I bless the name of the Lord for one of our sisters that shared that testimony. He said, after us, a long while I've prayed, I've prayed, I've prayed. 
for God's hope. Just set prayer apart. Just praise me. Just praise me and see my wonders. As you praise him more and more, as you obey him, because God will be giving us instructions this month. Maybe that was why he's telling us that we just obey him. Some might sound so ridiculous or doesn't even make sense. But please, not only will you obey, do. And the Lord God will show forth his mighty this in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. So I'll quickly go through the outlines, just five points. No, four. He said, God, he said, give God thanks and declare his good deed to us. That is verse 6, 1 and 2. And that we should do this by singing his praises. And David, you know, is a man that knows how to get to the heart of God. He knows it. And I am telling us, brethren, I know many of us might not be able to pray for long hours or even wait on the Lord, but none of us cannot pray sin. None of us. It doesn't, if our God is not even interested whether it's so sonorous, so sweet, but that you can even say it to him is what matters to him. And this is what we can all do. Please, this month, don't let it pass by. Even if you cannot pray, even if you cannot fast, please praise him. Give him thanks. And the Lord God will wrote his wonder for us in Jesus' name. Amen. In Psalm 104, verse 33, Psalm 104, verse 33, David said, I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. This is the time we can do it. This is the time we can do it. Those that have passed away can no longer do it. But when we still have breath in us, when he has not taken that breath away, let us learn to sing praises unto him. In verse 147 again, Psalm 147 verse 1, David equally said, he said, praise the Lord, for he for it is good to sing praises unto our God, for it is pleasant and praise is lifting. If for those two verses they know, one that I am alive, you are alive, and that we have known that this is what God wants, please let us do it, even in the course of this month, and you will see that we will be lifted in the name of Jesus. That we should give thanks to God and declare his good deeds by telling people of his wonders. And that we have had this money. Was it not a wonder? Somebody feeling the pain, not knowing that things are fructed even in the system. Thanks be to God for doctors. This is the way they thought they should go. But God turned it around. That is a wonder. Oh, even the experience my wife shared. I mean, we are talking of over 13 years ago. That was a wonder. Brethren, our God is good. If only we know how to get to connect to his heart. But one of the ways that I'm telling all this money is give him thanks and praises. And that is well established even in the word he has given us. In verse 3 of that passage that we read, Psalm 105, he said, exalt his holy name. And that's one of that good thing God has given unto us. That at the mention of the name of his son, he said, everything here on earth, even underneath the earth, even in the heaven, the bow. The bow. Be it problems, these challenges, the bow. A brother was sharing his own wonders. He said, March, April, May, it was like, am I going to live? Would this life be sustained? But he was the one standing to declare the wonders of God. He didn't say it was, yes, he called on the church to pray. What if God does not answer? Will he live be here? No. So it's God that is doing all of this. And this is why I'm 
and joining us, brethren, let us connect with him. Many at times there are things, I, I, it's good to pray. I like praying. But there are things when you know you have done the part of prayer and you are not getting it, please turn to praise and leave it to him. And you will see his hand at work in the name of Jesus. In 1 Corinthians 16, 29, we are enjoyed to give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. And this is so good unto us, those that are people of his covenant. People of his covenant. They, we are the one that is meant to do this. In fact, when you tell those that are outside of the covenant to do this, they will tell you you are wasting your time. In fact, it sounds foolish to them. And the Bible has described them that way. He said this message of salvation unto those that are perishing, it is foolishness. But to us that are saved, it is power unto salvation. So it is for us that of the covenant children. And that was why he told us, which is our scripture in this church. First Peter 2 9. We are the royal people. We are the chosen. We are those that are peculiar to him. But even as peculiar people, once you know how to, you, you know, our children, when they want to get something from us, they know how to get to us. They know. And it's the same thing with our Heavenly Father. If they can get to us as earthly Father and we will do those things, you can imagine the Heavenly Father. And some of this that is demanded for us, they are not things that He knows we cannot give Him. They are, not, they, are not, they are not those things. The Lord God will help us and we shall be blessed, exalt his holy name. Hmm? When those situations seem to be exalting, tell them, no, the name of the Lord Jesus that I have received is above you. Those things will bow. They will bow. Be it job, be it marital, anything. God is saying he's been given a name that is above every other name. Every other name. Doctors may give it the name, but the name of Jesus is above that. Let's subject it to that, and God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. He went for that to say, we should seek his presence always. That is in verse 4 of that passage. He said, seek his presence always. We were told in Isaiah 55 verse 6, seek ye the Lord why he may be found. Call upon him why he is near. There is a time we should call on him. There is a time we must seek him. And this is the time that we still have bread in us. My mom that passed away three days ago can no longer seek him because there is no longer bread in her. It's simply the truth. But for you, for me, that we are still living, we still have that big opportunity. Don't let us miss him. Seek his, his presence. He says, at my presence, what will you find? Pleasures forevermore. He saw if somebody is saying, come, come and find pleasure with me. Why, why is it that we don't give him that time? Why is it that some of us, we are running away? Why is it that some of us consider that to be something that is not fashionable at this point in time? In fact, one of the things that bothers me a lot is even with people of my culture that are now in Canada. Oh, we don't want to associate with them. We don't want to deal with people of their own culture, people of their own color. Why are we running away from the presence of our maker? Why? I know if I ask them for reason, they will have thousands to give. But is that what God is asking for from you? No. The Lord God will help us, brethren. Yeah. We must learn to seek his presence always. Psalm 40, verse 16. He said, let all those who seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. Let such as love thy salvation says continually, the Lord be magnified. And I pray he will continually be magnified in our lives, in our homes, in Jesus' name. Amen. 
And lastly, which is the fourth point I'm bringing from that person, he said, remember, let us always remember his wonderful works. Let us always remember, bring it to mind, let it come to our memory, the wonders, the miracles, the ruling he has given us, the wonders, like we have had this morning. And I thank God for our sister. He said, as the other sister was sharing, she suddenly remembered that, oh, oh we thought that I went through. Was it because the doctors were so smart? Was it because my husband responded on time? No, it was God. I must share this among his people. So that one soul will be lifted. One soul will be encouraged. Let us share his wonders. We must be able to share the miracles. You know, when you say it's a miracle, it's beyond your understanding. And by the time you declare it to others, it's like, wow. So you went through that. And I want beautiful thing about where we live is. When they say, wow, you, go, you went through that, they want to hear more. And that's an opportunity for us to share the gospel. That's the opportunity. You may not even be quoting the scripture to them at that time. Oh, wow. So you went through that and you survived. How? Ah, it's God. You will see the reaction. Yeah, it's God. Wow. You know, I was sharing my place of work. Oh, you got that house. How? I say it's God. I say how the knowledge came that we can put the money together. I don't understand it. Oh, that must be wonderful. That's, I say it's wonderful. Yeah. I say it's wonderful. And it is. So we always have that opportunity. Even the justice that is giving us. You know, these are things we should share. When you know you have traveled in praise or in prayer and you have received the victory, let others know that God has justified you. That's the justice. That's the ruling. When God stepped in on our behalf, the Lord God will help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. We must respond to God's goodness at all times. And he will continue to show us his mercy, his loving kindness, more and more in Jesus' name. Amen. So I'm bringing it to a close. That the giving of thanks renews the heart and fuels our faith to trust God more. You know, when you share it like that, when, when you come to his presence, you sing praises to it, you, you, you feel renewed, energized spiritually. And that's why even when the solution has not come, you know that God is working on your behalf. Many a times, I, I am down. Before you know it, songs will just be coming to my mind and I feel inspired. It happens to me a lot, a number of times. I don't know about you, that may not be your own approach, but let's do it. At times it could even be in the, in the bathroom. Some will just hit me and I start singing before you know it. Oh, I am moving now, I am moving now. Because God is with me. And he will be with you as well in Jesus' name. Amen. When you give these thanks, when you give this praise, when you respond to this God's goodness, you will keep, you keep us to be humble before him. Then you know that whatever you are, whatever you will become, is because he has allowed it. It's because he has allowed it. If he doesn't, you won't. And once you realize that, pride will not come in. Because you now know that whatever you are is not by your strength, by his mercy. The Lord God will help us in the name of Jesus. And of course, like I've said earlier, that is his civil, that is his will concerning us. That's all he wants from us. It's good we give maybe our tithe, our offering. It's not as if God is the one coming here to spend it. We end up spending it to ourselves. Or maybe to promote to promote the kingdom work. But it's because he gave us in the first place. So his will concerning us is that we should give him thanks at all times. And that is well established in the scripture. We all know it. First Thessalonians 5 18. He said, In everything, give thanks. For what? For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you, concerning you. Lord God help us, even as we do that more and more this month. And we live in that obedience unto him in Jesus' name. God bless you.